All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Nice punch. Nice punch. Fill that one. Good work with your hands. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You're starting to fall apart. Yes, those punches are adding up. See? Beautiful speed! Beautiful! Don't stop now. 20 seconds left. This is a lesson to get better. Ready? Let's go. That's how you block. Hey, now we know what we have to work on, right? Don't worry about it. We'll get better. Beautiful combination. Keep it up, put the pressure on it. You got 30. Let's go. Punch! Nice punch! He felt that one. Hey, don't worry about... Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Now you're learning. Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. Yes, yes, nice combination. Now press forward. That's what I'm talking about. It's starting to fall apart. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Now that's some sweet science.
Ready? Let's go. Great, let's do another. Speed, timing, reaction. That's the goal today. Hey, you're doing great. Yeah, work on that kickboxing damage, yes! Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Combo. Keep at it. Beautiful job. Your kicks look so easy. Anytime you see it, just throw it. Now, listen to my call outs. That's how we work. This is when we put it all together. Great job. Okay, this is how we train to win the belt. Let's go. It's 30 on the clock.
wonderful work today. You did awesome. Good work, kid. Let's keep hitting. person down. Let's just drill. Takedowns, takedowns, takedowns. Here we go. Nice timing on that takedown. Here we go. Hey, good job. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. Let's go, work, 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 and 30 to go. Yo, that was good. Strong takedown. Love the way you attack those legs. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title.
Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> The world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins two losses he stands six feet three inches tall weighing in at 169 pounds fighting out of Monterey Mexico presenting the challenger El Presidente and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Dos Santos! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. like this what a luxury it's a luxury i've never had one over the course of my entire career but oh he's in trouble he's hurt bad oh he stunned him with that knee to the head good series of strikes for him there staying busy and staying accurate i mean oh he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, straight right. Oh! News hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. 
just over. Th Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh! Out. you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he's doing because of the leg damage he has taken. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good... Oh! tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merliata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still Celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement.
All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. What a bruise. Let's go, baby, let's go. Good work with your hands. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's starting to fall apart. Combination. Keep it up, put the pressure on it. And 30 to go. Oh, wow. Wow, yes. That punch damaged him. Yes. Let's go. Right? We got work to do, but don't worry about it. We can fix it. Today, let's go in there and get after it. Good job in there. gonna be no match for you. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Huge kick. That must hurt. That's it. Awesome combo. That's what we want. Don't stop now. 20 seconds left.
bag drills. Listen for my call outs. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. opponent is going to be no match for you. You're listening perfectly. Nice work. 20 on the clock. Come on now. All right. Now that's some s the legs, take them down, and get on top. All right? Nice. Good takedown. Come on. I love those strikes. I love those strikes. Nice combination there. Great pressure. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Let's mix things up a little bit. Great sequence of strikes there. Here we go. You got this, 20 on the clock. <laughs> nice! Your wrestling base is getting stronger. Now let's keep drilling. In UFC 1, Hoist Gracie showed us that jujitsu is designed for the little man to submit the bigger man. So be patient. Control posture, advance positions, and go for submission. Pass that. Breathing hard. You gotta pass. Okay, you gotta pass. Listen, come on, pass now. Great BJJ defensive skills there. That's what I'm talking about.
Pressure here. I want to see some pressure. And 30 to go. Combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Nice work today. That's how we roll. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Work with your hands. Yeah, it's starting to fall apart. I love it. Your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Nice work in there. And 30 to go. That's what I like to see. Good, clean.
All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. The Brit is 35, the Brazilian is 40. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, Iceman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Go! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your point. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. 
physical damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice in size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice one two there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big kick. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Oh, he's out! He got him! Another one for the highlight reel. That's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a good knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and Celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.